Hello, welcome back. Last time I really broke a puzzle, and you might notice I'm running build 1.0.25c now. This was a direct result of me reporting that as a bug. So, uh, LP was not over by the time an update came out to fix this. It happened right away, so that's nice. Let's go back to Sentinel. It says solved, but it's really not. Um, so first of all, I compared behavior... let's see. When I played this, I was in 1.0.24b having downgraded by one version in order for... Oh, uh, let's do this, actually. In order for um, a different puzzle to work. Into the ground, was it? No, that's fine. It's just that, that, that one is fixed in 1.0.25b, which I've never run during this LP, but this is 25c, which should have changed a behavior that I saw here. Let's verify. That behavior being... Uh, being what? No, wait, hang on. I need you here, you on top of it, you in my hand, face this way, and there we go. So that move now just pushes forward, doesn't lift, doesn't snap the arrow off, doesn't create an invisible arrow that I can accidentally stick to something and solve the puzzle that way. So I'm required to have a different insight than that. Um, what my broken solution did show me was a route to doing this with the resources I have if I can fasten two regular crates to each other instead of the belongings. Because I can stick one crate here, two next to each other here and there. Uh, you know, one, one in front. Then put one crate here and be able to staircase up that whole structure. Ugh. Um... Issue, of course, being that I don't know a way to get up here without that arrow ending up in this location. Now, can I conceive of a way that I can get close enough to that to swap the box type on it? Well, technically, yes. That don't seem good, though. But now, wait, can I... How close do I have to be for that? Not any closer than this, right? Well, the thing is, though, like, there's nowhere to push that. Left falls, right falls, forward falls. Hmm. So unless I have a big... Stack bigger than this, like unless I have these all stacked up, all four of them, or well, three of them if on here, then I'm not getting that done. Okay, is there any way I could conceive of having those four stacked up? Three, whatever. Um. No. Uh, not and also be up here. And once I'm up there, I don't really gain any special abilities, and I can't, like... Hmm. The only way I know... there, I basically know of two ways to ascend. Either this, or just by having put these here and here, um, and walking up normally. Every way I know to do this sticks that arrow there in the this. Now I guess what I wonder is maybe if there's a way... Something I, I think I don't really know for sure is if I can... Uh, sure, that's fine. Maybe. Uh, I don't know for sure. If after reloading an arrow, I can, like, pull the box back out and detach the arrow from it? Uh, okay, I guess I was in the wrong spot for that. Um, oops, snap. Wait, so I want this? Yes. Snap. Uh... 
unsnap? Wait. Arrows snap off when being mounted sideways now, huh? That's a change. It makes a whole lot more sense, though, so a lot of solutions I used just would not work at all anymore, huh? Hmm. Okay, so this... Ooh. Am I absolutely sure I must transfer an arrow from the belongings to another crate? No. I can't currently be sure of that. So for now, let's do some operations as if this can be okay. Because uh, for all I know, maybe it can be. Obviously, I don't want that. Hmm. Let's, before I do anything else, let me see if I can get a crate up there and cook it. Pretty sure I can, but I want to make actually sure. How did I insert that when I did? Like this, maybe? Ah, a camera. I can never find a comfortable camera angle for this for some reason. Okay, yeah, so pretend my belongings are not trapped away there. If this were them, then I could uh, cook it like that. There's no other way to suspend something right where that is, though. Like, this is the crucial crate right here. If the plate unpresses. The only ways I know to get an arrow back out after it's been stuck involve um, charring. But maybe there's a way I don't know. Because like, what if I could use the these spikes to pry. Hmm. I don't think any prying is going to happen. Not to the left or right, and I can't get a grip while the spikes are there. See, yeah, prying seems like a good idea. Spear them on that, then pull this to the left, and maybe it could separate, but I don't think I can get that much pull force. I can't stand here, and even if I could, my back would be blocked. And that's also just inventing a new thing that might not even be possible in general. Okay, so what about... Ah, no, I can't just swap this with, with whichever crate, because then I'd be done. It has to be the one that's fastened to the, the other one. Well, now it doesn't just... Yeah, no, that doesn't unfasten. Push it with your head. Can't push it with my head. Uh, Stick it? It does stick. And doesn't... Yeah, this comes out, but doesn't go back in. Hmm. Like, this all seems like it hinges on either being able to... Whoa. The camera rotation is completely different when I'm holding the undo button from when I'm not. It's like twice as fast and weirder. Uh, so, anyway, um... There's no way I'm clearing... No, there are ways to clear that off before I go up. Of course there are. Quite trivially, and I can even have the arrow not yet come out. Oh, so now, hang on. With five things, 
Without anything in my hand... Wait, can't I just climb like this and stick the arrow in something that's on spikes? I think that'll work. Do I... It might. It will. Yeah, check it. Okay, this, this does everything. There we go. Okay. Had all the pieces, just had to find a way to assemble them. There we go. All right, so you are arrowed. Now I simply transfer this. Okay, so I discovered everything. Just had to put it together in an unbroken way. Uh, so I need a platform here. Neat. Okay, a real solution emerges. There we go. Uh, you will need to go here. And you currently cannot. Um, okay. That's a little too hasty on that, I guess. Uh, with you gone, then I could do that. Neat. Okay, there we go. Proper solution. Proper solution to Sentinel. Uh, uh, uh. All right, that's great. Uh, I have not kept track of puzzles where I inserted arrows from the sides, so I'm just going to have to accept that I might not have had real solutions on some of those. They were real solutions at the time that I, they were input. So was this one, kind of. <laughs> Can't really say that full-throatedly. Uh, do I dare try sandbar? Yeah, I do. Feeling daring today. Maybe this won't live up to its reputation as much as... Uh, much as I suspect it might. Sandbar. That's a word I feel like I've heard, but I couldn't tell you the definition of it. So, double shot. Arrows on both sides if I want them, or in separate crates if I'd prefer. Would knowing what a sandbar is help me understand that as a clue? Well, you know what? I'll do it without the clue. So, these spikes... Can I say they absolutely must not come up? I think so, because for me to traverse with spikes up would involve... Mm, now hang on, refrigerators can do some interesting things. If I swap these two around... Oops. Okay, yeah, that looks like I could, uh... Wait, no. No, no matter what... There's no way I'm getting up here if that is... Not... If the spikes are up. I think the spikes have to stay down. I do have a refrigerator, which is useful in keeping spikes down, so I'm starting to see the shape of what I might need to do, and I think it's actually very simple. That's a dangerous thing to think. But it's how I'm feeling. So I'm going to specifically put those arrows in just a, one of those. I understand the refrigerator's role in this puzzle. Uh, I'd like you on a platform. Oh. Okay, so now this is a space navigation challenge. <laughs> now? Bonfire Peaks? Imagine that. Okay. So, uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do this without snapping somehow. Um, refrigerator, you in my way. Go here, and then you go... Where? I guess I'll push you along the ground. That'll ultimately be easier. Like if I put that there and put you here, I can fasten. So having made a three wide thingy, I can bridge it over here, pick this up from the top and swap it on that. Cool, great. Now what? How do you expect to get up that high? <laughs> Okay, I didn't think that far ahead. I just wanted to get the refrigerator on the pressure plate without 
They're leasing it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Things have come into focus a little more. Uh, all right. I did what I set out to do, at least. And that's nice. Um, well, even with that, that doesn't get me up. Okay, so that didn't quite work. Do I need crumbling? I doubt that would help. How sure am I that that plate must not pop up? I mean, that was the first thing I checked, and my checks pretty strongly indicate that it needs not to. However, two fasteners is a lot of fasteners. And that could make things complicated. Okay, so... I need an L shape. It would also be ideal if instead of a refrigerator I could put like a... Well, see, now the amount of resources I need is only this many. Like this and this to get up there. You to sit on the plate, you to come with me you then would not have a direct role. So I could afford a refrigerator on the plate if I could unpack my... Oh yeah, it has to be a vertical L shape, not one lying on the ground. If I could disassemble my three-wide thingy, but I can't... Without... Something. Hmm. There's no way I'm gonna... Hmm. And this is all structured so that I can't... pick it up and move with it unless an arrow is involved. Oh. Uh... I can involve an arrow like this. But that's no better than the other thing I was doing. Okay. Two arrows. Perhaps I'm constructing a hook. Ooh, perhaps I'm constructing a hook of unconventional shape. However, that would use too many resources. I was thinking of like holding, mm, no, that's impossible. Okay, so to get this off, I either need that three wide bridge like I had, which doesn't leave me enough to get up there as far as I can see. Or, I would need to fasten something to this. Yeah, and even then I wouldn't keep the, uh, the thing held. Hmm. Hooks. Just thinking of ways to slide something on here. So up to two crates can be occupied with, or two crate equivalents. Refrigerator is worth two. Could be occupied holding this plate, plate down. You can just do it if I'm sitting, you know, here or here. But sitting there or there involves spending too much of these that I don't have enough to get the elevation necessary. There are solutions like this, but that obviously drops the belongings and that's no good. Okay, ways that you can come out of there. Uh, 
me stand here, here, you know, here or here. Hold a crate there and push you that way so that you go there. I mean, that sure seems like what I have to do. Is there any other... Thinking of other configurations than... Now I can char things. I can even char things a thing without setting off the spikes. And perhaps I should be suspicious that this space and this space exist. Perhaps it's for that exact purpose. I don't think that helps me though. All that does is lose me a resource, it would seem. Although I could fix something in place and re-expose the arrow. Okay, so let's do some more arrow work. I'd kind of rather not have them both in the same crate, but I'm not sure how to arrange for that. In fact, I think that's actually impossible. Unless one of the crates is this one. Maybe that's okay? Let's see, I can even have it go in the bottom of this. If I do that. Okay, that's at least interesting looking. So, in the bottom of that, I don't think this is useful for anything. However, I'm not convinced. You didn't make the noise. You stuck, but you did it silently. What? Where's the Shrish noise? There it goes, Shrish. Here it does not. Well, I can't do it like that. I can do it like this. There it does. Is it a height thing? Like, if it's occluded, it doesn't make the noise? No. Just the bottom of the... this doesn't, doesn't make the noise. How strange. Okay, so none of this is getting me any closer. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Random messing around in this game often leads to good places. So yeah, this, this particular poker doesn't seem to be in a good place right now, but... Um, is there something I could do that looks something resembling that that could be good? Yes. There is. Yes, I think I've solved it. Okay, I think my random, mess random messing around did lead to a perfectly acceptable pattern. And I think I can get there from here? Yeah, with those things fastened as they are. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Let's make sure. I would want you to connect like this. You to be an L-shape to catch the whatever. And you to replace my belongings on the plate. Uh, no. Right. Of course. That's not how that works at all. Uh, hmm. Okay, my mistake. I can't 
My, my reach is not long enough for that. This were one higher, maybe. Uh, it's not though. Whoa. Okay, right. Rotation gets weird with this. There might be something I can do with that though. So your weird rotation. Doesn't extend to this. What if, um, is there a structure where I can, like, I mean, you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. A long lever that both pulls this and ends up itself on the plate. Well, no, I mean, that's just this three-wide thingy with you pushing once again. Or can I do it with this width? Wait a second, maybe I can. I'm holding that too high. Well, I can hold it down lower, but from like the wrong spot. Would it help to grab it from the other end? No, not really. Stand here, I doubt. Oh, don't want that. Ooh. That's interesting. I still don't have enough resources after that, but that is an alternate way. Okay, let's see. To, to do that, I can uh, reverse direction on you, like this. And how is that? This rotates it out of the way that way. Now, that only works because of the presence of this thingy. However, perhaps there are some options now for swapping this in place of you. I think there might just be. Do I really, though? Mm, now that I look at it, I don't think that's going to happen. Like, I need another one of those rotational moves, right? And I'm not getting one from where I'm standing. Like, if I hold you like this, and... Yeah, I rotated it, but that's no good. I mean, if I could drop that and have it not be... Like, this just pushes. This doesn't reach. If I could be standing here, I think I could do it. Yeah, if I could be standing right here. But there's no way that's going to happen. Show me how that thing got in place of the possessions one more time. Yeah, 
that's a move that definitely only works with this L shape. That L shape is real cool because it's a perfectly shaped stairway I could just take right here and be up there and done if I could somehow replace you on that. I think I can. Because here I have another type of L shape. Oh, but I can't pick it up by the top is the problem because it's not like the... Yeah, if I could pick that up by the top, it'd be nice, but picking it up by the top only gets the that part. Yeah, I can't move anything at foot level. Okay. Am I close to something, or am I just completely off in the weeds here, I wonder? I mean, I've learned some interesting things, certainly. Did I need... Yeah, I did. I couldn't have done this without this thing stuck on. It had to have that extra scoop on it to make it. It does kind of cross a gap, but it goes like diagonally and just lands lands on land comfortably. Once again, if I could then pull this back off and do something with it, maybe, but uh, I can't. You know, the crate could have been charred, but that doesn't pull the arrow out. It just gets the crate away from inside it. Okay. Here, let me preserve this in my undo history. Uh. And do a reset. Okay, so there are a lot of ways potentially to get this replaced on the plate. What do I wish to replace it with? I'm assuming I kind of have to use all my resources here. Can I ever fasten to the possessions? Probably. Do I want to? I don't think so. But I'm not sure. I have... Oh wait, hang on. Uh, another thing to evaluate. One more time. Remind me. Can I have arrows in separate one by one crates? I think I cannot. It can either be both in the same crate, whether refrigerator or not, or one in refrigerator, one in a regular one. Because there's no way to have two of these elevated in line with that at the same time. Unless I could somehow do something that involved... ...remotely triggering the plate? And like, be holding one of the crates? Like, that's the other way I can get elevation, however... I can't see any way that could ever work. So yeah, any solution that involves an arrow in two separate one-by-one-by-one one one crates is, as far as I can tell, not on the table. So it's either both arrows in the same one-by-one-by-one, one one, both arrows in the same one-by-one-by-two, one or one arrow in a one, one arrow in a two. Either top or bottom. I can do it both ways. Can I have both arrows in the bottom of the refrigerator? Yes. This is how I would do that. Uh, like that. Okay, so that's available. Okay. 
That seems like a terrible shape to me. I really don't think that's what I want. My hunch is... What I most likely want is this. One in the bottom of this, one in the side of another thing. Okay, but then from there, what? Oh, oh. Okay, that's a sound glitch only. <laughs> but still, same type of move as I had been using. I mean, that is a sound glitch only, right? There's not some weird, like, connection to that. It just sounds like it's sticking in the thing, but then it doesn't. <laughs> this poor video game. It tries so hard. And does pretty well with what it does, but then... Just keeps running into issues. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I don't know, I'm just kind of moving things around. Mostly at random. This is what I was trying to do. If once an arrow is fastened, there's no unfastening, then any shape I create must be compatible with stairwaying once the belongings are out of there. If the belongings fasten to something, it must not be the refrigerator because then I wouldn't have enough resources to get where I'm going. This is too far away from here to consider any kind of bridging taking advantage of the height. These are also too far away, I'm pretty sure. Am I? I'm not. I fairly am. Because, like, there's no way I'm gonna... Uh, you're facing the wrong way now. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Hmm. 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 How far away are these things exactly? One more than I can reach. Like, if both arrows were stuck in, then I wouldn't have an arrow to reinsert there. And I cannot, uh, um, something, uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think any reloading is involved here. Okay, so... What else could I try? Okay, here's an interesting idea that explores something I haven't really messed with. Oh, uh, that's still fine. If I prepare with a charred box, and that's the one that gets shot, then I could do some interesting and different things, and I could still have enough resources to, uh... Do what I want here, right? Okay, yeah, so you're the one who's gonna get shot. Oh. Are you now? Uh, if I carry you up with me, maybe you still can be. Let's see. Put this he here, we'll do. Oh, uh. No, I can't. Can I set this up? It's starting to look like I can't. Because if I need a clear shot to that... No, um... I can still try this, though, maybe. Even if I lose... Something I'll end up needing in the process. 
Oh, that's interesting. Well, I could char the refrigerator and definitely lose too many things, but that'll at least let me do what I want to do, right? No, it still won't. Wait, but I can char it after it's arrowed. There we go. Okay, I can char it after it's arrowed. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's a little awkward to do, but should be possible, certainly. Easy. Okay, so charring after arrowing. I can... If I connect you here, then I turn everything around. And I connect the other one to the other side. I don't know if this is useful, but at least it's new and interesting. That didn't make the shrish noise. With this, I now have two separated uh, crates that could have arrows in them at an angle. Or just like, you know, to, uh, right, so I could make a, an on-the-ground L-shape if I wanted to. Uh, or an L-shape involving the belongings, too. There are options. Yeah. So yeah, L-shape on the ground. Looks real cool, but what can it do? Not much. Uh, how was this like that then? That's That didn't... Wait, really? Yeah, really. Like, uh, I have to have the, the hook in, like... Ugh, how, how did I... Didn't I do this a moment ago? What was I holding it by? I don't know, but I don't think it's useful. Okay, that is confusing. I don't even touch the thing. Well, I kind of do, but it goes... That's a wide diagonal. Uh, anyway, that's not any good. And yeah, what I've done here overall just isn't. Um, but are there new possibilities opened up by arrows in two separate one by one by one crates that are worth sacrificing one for them? I am quite certain the answer is no. Certainly not if I stick that in there. And what else could I do that was of any use? Nothing? Got it. Huh. Oh wait, no, there was something. Go back. Uh, there was something. I'm gonna have to go back a bit farther. You know what, let's just redo that. Okay, so I think I see it now. Uh, right, can't do that yet. Uh, right, I need arrow first and then char. So I need two arrows, one crate, like this. Oop, two arrows, not just one. Uh, then I char that. Yeah, 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 okay, I see something. It's likely there's something I'm not seeing about this that'll make it not work, but it's possible there's not. Maybe this is gonna solve things for me. Uh, this uses components of another attempt I made at a solution. So this time I'm making a three-wide structure, which is something I had before.
and did do some good things, or so it seemed. And I think with the middle one charred, it might just be possible to do everything I want to do here and more. Or everything I wanted to do with the last one and the, that one extra step that'll actually solve the thing. Maybe. So... Yeah, this looks... Ah, uh, no, it's just short of working. Yeah, I see what the fatal flaw with this is going to be. Um, so I bridge there. I grab this by that spot. I dodge around the burned part. I replace this with a refrigerator. Oh, there are two problems here. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So that's problem number one. Ooh. Uh, problem number two is that by crumbling that, I lose uh, another crate on the way to uh, getting up here. Meaning this would have to be a single wide on the plate if I'm losing one of these. Okay, yeah, so if I'm... If I'm charring one of those, then it can't be the refrigerator on the plate, just by the resource requirements here. No, it really seems like I have to get a one by one on this plate, or save all of these, but to make that move, the only way is with a three-wide bridgey thing like what I have, and the middle of it doesn't have to be charred, but if it's not, then I'm never getting any of those back out. Charring the edge of it doesn't really help anything, right? I don't think so. Because the only one of those I can destroy to get at the... Oh wait, wait. Um... Nowhere to go. And now I've put down my refrigerator and can't grab it the same way again. If those weren't exactly there... Oh, wait, they can be not exactly there. Okay, hang on. I mean, this still has the same problems as before, but it is one step farther. There's no fancy way I can, like, use this to replace the refrigerator on that, is there? Like a three-wide thingy. Now, the rules as I understand them... Yeah, that'll just push unless there's, like, a, a hook back here. Fastening something anew... ...will not help... ...me... ...replace you with something else. The reason for the refrigerator is to get something at foot level to be pushing that out of the way because I can't be one below foot level. And here. Uh, that'll crumble. But the magic properties of refrigerator on pressure plate are pretty desirable there. This isn't enough, though. Alright, well, I've used up my time allocation for this. Uh, this puzzle is not getting done today, that much is clear. I'm trying, like, weird things here, but they don't quite lead to uh, the place I want them to. Um, okay, so I uh, learned some things about this. And it's just gonna stay as it is. So basically, I made no progress today. I resolved a puzzle that uh, I had solved before and I could have technically ignored, but you know, that wouldn't be proper. And this one is uh, a silly thing. It doesn't feel, this feels like um, that other one felt. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you know the one I'm talking about. Uh, the one up on this shelf, what was it called? Where I had to cross a gap and then get, like, 
It wasn't? It was Bodyguard. Yeah, this feels like Bodyguard. Okay, so maybe another session and I'll probably have it done. Uh, that's my thinking. There's a place I could move on to, but I haven't attempted everything here, and yeah, that's... Anyway, yeah, so I'm trying to stop here because I have other things to do this evening and they'll never get done if I just keep prattling forever. So, uh, <laughs> see you next time to try Sandbar again, maybe if I have new ideas, and if not, so give that one a try and maybe move on.